Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin. I'm the writer and director of The Trial of the Chicago 7, which is honored to be uh, one of AFI's uh, 10 best films of the year. And it's great to be here. This is the first riot sequence. This was one of our challenges, these riot scenes, which are basically battle scenes because we had to do them on a budget. And anytime you're doing something out of budgetary necessity, you want it to look like this is what you would have done if you'd had an unlimited budget. And I think that we did that. The we that I'm talking about, Fig, Papa Michael, our DP, Alan Baumgarten, our editor. First of all, we wanted to come at you from 10 different directions at 100 miles an hour. So there are multiple narrators, whether it's witnesses on the witness stand, Abby doing his stand-up, if you will, or the actual action itself. And the way we were able to do these riots on our budget uh, was, first of all, we were able to shoot these scenes in Grant Park and on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, which was an enormous help because it meant that we would now be able to use archival footage uh, and it would match. So I got a bunch of wide shots using smoke from the tear gas to kind of disguise the fact that there weren't as many extras as we were pretending uh, that there were. And then a bunch of very tight shots, uh, uh, micro shots of a pair of eyes right before a riot club hit it. And then Alan Baumgarten and the editing team, after looking at hours and hours and hours of archival footage, just sort of weaved it together into something that worked really well, finally with an assist from Daniel Pemberton, our composer. Put the flag down! I always wanted the film to be about today and not about 1968. I had no idea how much about today it was going to end up being. Donald Trump was elected president. Even before he was elected president, he had these rallies where there'd be a protester and he'd start to get nostalgic about the old days when they'd carry that guy out of here on a stretcher and I'd like to beat the crap out of him. And all of us thought that the film was plenty relevant last winter when we were making it. We didn't need it to get more relevant, but it did, obviously, in May with the killing of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery. And there were protests in Portland, Kenosha, Minneapolis, Washington, D.C. And those protesters were met again with riot clubs and tear gas and force. And as if that weren't enough, on January 6th, uh, Donald Trump stood up at a microphone and did exactly what the Chicago 7 were on trial for doing. I've been asked a lot uh, since, since the film was released if I made any changes to mirror events in, in the world. And the answer is no, I, I didn't. Uh, events in the world changed to mirror what was going on in the film.